Hi, shy boy. I'm making mac and cheese. Waiting for the water to boil. <laughs> you are first. Yes, yes you are. I didn't put on a notification either, so I'm not sure how many of the others are going to know that it's a spontaneous stream. Dito's. Dito. I do too. Yeah, it really is, man. You know what you should try? You need to try this one. It's a deluxe Kraft mac and cheese. Really good. It's like, um, think of if you have Velveeta or have had Velveeta, it's like that. They've got the same like goopy cheese, so it's not powder, it's already like sauce. Um, it's pretty good though. I, I recommend. I would I would rank it as Kraft Deluxe, then Velveeta, and then regular Kraft. That's how I would uh, rank them for tastiness. Macaroni salad. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, I think I have and I agree with you. I'm not as big. It's definitely not like a mac and cheese replacer by any means. So, yeah, I'm for sure more of a mac and cheese fanatic. <laughs> I mean, the, the macaroni salad's all right. My brother likes that stuff too. Alrighty, real. Let's see what we can do. Stick that right there. And, um... All right, we'll do that, a little bit of that, and I'm gonna use this as my mixing thing. Okay. Yeah, my brother likes some, um, I think it's like, I think it says, is it Amish macaroni salad is the, is the name of it? But uh, Walmart sells it, and my brother likes that kind of stuff. My mom likes it too. But I, I like warm, cheesy noodles. <gasps> Plum Lady, happy year! Yeah, happy year, right? Happy year, happy one year. Yeah, happy one year, whichever. I'm making mac and cheese, so I'm not in. My, I'm not behind my desk tonight. But if you notice, what's going on behind me? Well, let me tell you. So, <laughs> I clogged my toilet on accident. So I didn't, I didn't do the courtesy flush, and what I mean by that is, I pooped, then I wiped, and then I flushed. Well, I attempted to. Yeah, the water started pouring out of the toilet bowl. I mean, oh shit. Imagine like, um, hang on, I gotta make sure this doesn't boil over. Oh, I couldn't even really tell. Anyways, so like, you know in Sims, or Sims 3? specifically you know how like the water is like animated and it kind of like pours over the bowl that literally happened to me because I, I was it was starting to the water started going up slowly so I started thinking like oh what should I do right so I took the top of the toilet thingy off and there's this, this there's this like plunger not plunger but like there's this like a drain it looked like a drain right so I thought oh that's how you could drain the water I pulled that tab up and more water started pu pu pooling out that's when it started coming out like a waterfall yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty bad. So basically, I'm on the first floor, but the second floor, it flooded in the second floor's bathroom, which went down into our ceiling. So, don't worry though, Serve Pro is on the job. Yep. Now I know how toilets work. But anyways, um, thank you though. Thank you for the one year subscription. Like, holy shit, by the way. That's freaking nuts. One, one day I'll have custom uh, emotes for you. Don't you worry. One day, the well, badges, I should say. And emotes, I guess, because they're adding those kind of things, too. Well, actually, they're adding follower badges. I think they've already done that, but I know, like, I don't know if you have this, because I know you stream, right? You still, you still stream? Because I know they, they did a beta, they're doing a beta thing to where if somebody follows you, they can then unlock, like, one follower badge. So that's a new thing, or I guess emotes. Um, but I want to do um, subscriber badges eventually. I just don't know exactly what they're going to be yet. Yeah, um, I haven't, I think I'm, I don't know if I really, I don't know what I did with it. I don't know if I actually moved one of my current sub badges down there, I'm not sure. So, whatever works, because once you become partnered, I think that's when you unlock, like, a, more of them. I think partner is when you get, like, a lot more available, so. Just kind of mixing, mixing, mixing my mac and cheese. It's cooking. 
So anyway, I'm going to be doing some Sims again here soon. But So Plum Lady, do you play Minecraft? <laughs> Are you a mining and crafter? I can't wait till this is done and I eat this whole entire box to myself. What was I going to use for water? Oh, I didn't fix that. I didn't solve that problem. That's alright, I'll figure that out. I know, Diego. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I actually, we were talking about Stardew Valley a few nights ago when I was on. So, it's only like 15 bucks on Steam, so that's really not that bad. Hmm. Animal Crossing I played once on my, well, I played a couple times, once being uh, New Leaf, and it was on my DS, 3DS. So, eh, like, it was good. I don't know if I'm more, I don't know if I'm an Animal Crosser, you know? My, my uh, sister is. Well, both my sisters, they really like that game. I don't know, it didn't really do it for me, I guess. It's cool, it's a cute game, but it, it just didn't really click for me. a little farm but we're getting there yeah I started building the Drake and Josh house on Sims 3 but I really want to wait and um, watch the show again basically when I watch the show all over again I will probably um, work on the house build because I want it to be super accurate Diego So little. You guys can't even see him. Stardew? Yeah. Well, what what hooks you in that game? I know Stardew is like farming related, and we were talking, like I said, we were talking a little bit about it. I used to play a game, I don't know if you remember this one, but it was called John, it was like John Deere Harvest or something like that. Harvest something, yeah, so something with John Deere. And you just harvested crops and, you know, you'd use, I guess, John Deere equipment, was probably why it was branded that way, but it was for the Nintendo DS at the time. So I don't know if you've heard of that game, but I know that was like a farming game and you had to like water your crops and all that kind of stuff. So I think it even had seasons, which from the sounds of it, I think Stardew does too, right? Something like that. I don't know much about the game. I should actually, like if I'm going to consider buying it, I might, I might watch a video or something on it before I commit to something like that. So. Yeah, okay. I get that. It seems like a lot of simmers are into those games. They seem like they're all they're all that same like tone. You know what I mean? Like Sims is very chill and laid back and relaxed. Um, even when you're doing achievements with the Sims 3 or Sims 4. Where um, then when it gets into yeah, I guess from the sounds of it, Stardew, um what was the other one you mentioned? Maybe we were at like, yeah. Animal Crossing, yeah, yeah, yeah. See those games seem like they're more chill anyway. They seem like they're more laid back. Alrighty, we're getting there. Diego. I know my little doggy. Tiny little doggy. Okay, I'm gonna try to point I'll point the camera so you can see him. How goes teaching, teaching lady? History, right? Do you do history? Forgive me if I'm wrong. Wait, let me see if Dito's is there. There he is! Diego! My little yapper. Okay. Almost done. I know, little dog. I know. I tried to let him out. He didn't want to go out. I'll probably try to let him out again after I'm done making it. Oh, dude, that's pretty sweet, though. You can do any, huh? So when you when you go to, like, when, okay, so whatever it had taken you to do to be to be allowed to be a substitute teacher, how does that work? Like, did you have to study, did you have to study all the subjects?
Oh shit. Hope I didn't overcook it, I'll be pissed. Damn it. Alright. I think I'm gonna actually have to BRB here. Give me a sec, guys. I'll be back later.